Well, I've been in the attic, dug the old tough books out. 22 years old, I think it is. Um, it is showing 100% throttle. So I've disconnected the throttle position sensor and it doesn't make any difference at all. It's still saying 100% throttle. So I haven't even tried the uh, test functions yet. So I'm have a, a bit of an investigation and see what's going on there. It must be wiring related, but I haven't actually done anything to the wiring that goes from there to the um, ECU. So let me delve in a bit deeper. Right, I've disconnected the relay for the fuel pump. Um, so I'm going to test the coils. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. That sounds like that's working. Injectors. Definitely working. All right, so coils and injectors are all working, which leads me to believe it's it's weird that the, I mean, it, it looks like the crank sensor is not throwing a signal, but I can test that somewhere. Crankshaft oscilloscope. Crank engine and cell results displays. Give that a go. That's an off to turn the ignition back on again. Ready to gather, click gather. Crank engine. Nothing. Well, that would indicate a crank position sensor fault. Let me just watch this video back, make sure nothing happened. Well, what I've had a, <coughs> this is a, just a, a chance, but I've um, had a look at the crank position sensor. That tells the engine when to spark and uh, injectors and tells the ECU the engine's running and um, th there was because I've been doing such a lot of grinding there was a bit of uh, because it's, it seems to be magnetic there was a bit of uh, metal stuck to the crank position sensor so maybe maybe that might have been an issue I've got the uh, gathering information again I'll just crank the engine see what happens Fingers crossed. No, doesn't look like anything. Let me check the video back again. Yeah, embarrassingly, this is the crank position sensor connector. This is the throttle position sensor. Now, 
if the throttle position sensor and crank position sensor are the same, that would explain why it's not showing any um, why it's saying full throttle. With the crank position there is. And that would make sense, the crank position sensor being independent because it needs to be kept away from other cables. Hmm. Who would have thought? So if I go back onto the main screen and have a look and see if we've got real-time info, if we've got throttle, oh, there we go, more, no, I'll do the throttle. 100, no. I think, uh, I think we found what the problem is. That's a relief. Let me stick it back together again and see if it'll fire up. I've taken the, disconnected the coil pack, taken the plugs out. Whilst the fuel pump is disconnected, I'm gonna crank it over with no compression um, till your light goes on, because I don't wanna try starting it without the oil pressure built up. I'll give that a go. This is the worst bit. I hate not having oil pressure. All right, hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, oh, that's a relief. All right, I can put it all back together again. It probably had gone out with the cranking I'd done to get the, uh, checking everything. Well, it's still holding the pressure. It's still, um, right, it's still off. Right, put it back together again. All right, here we go. Sign. Get near the troll. That's enough. It's early. Um, this is before I go to work. I just didn't want to go to work with it not working. So. I've been thinking about it all night, what it could be. Uh, chuff the bits now that it's fired up. Now I can get it out of the garage, give it a clean. Um, I'll leave it like that, check there's no oil or water lit on the floor or fuel or anything. And then um, it's not ideal starting in here with the exhaust and everything, but at least I know it fires up now. That's brilliant news, I'm well chuffed.